Hey, welcome to Taste of ACC 2023. We are so glad you're joining us. My name is Eric Johnson. I'm the Vice President of Advancement. And uh, hey, you're here tonight watching because you're already interested in what's happening at ACC. You care about our students. Many of you have cared about them since we started five days after 9-11. And so we're just grateful that you tune in for this opportunity to support what's happening at Alaska Christian College. I'm with some friends tonight, uh, Dr. Keith Hamilton. That's me, hey, great to have you guys for just a quick half hour here together to hear more and get updates and see pictures and exciting things from our students and staff. I'm thrilled to have you guys back with us this year. And I wanna introduce you to Royale, one of our former students. Hi, my name is Royale. I graduated in 2021, grew up in Bethel, Alaska and also in Anchorage, Alaska. And I am returning this year as a residential. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, thanks for all, Alan, Keith. Hey, uh, next, we just wanna thank our sponsors. Uh, so many uh, have generously supported the college over many years, but for this particular event, they've supported us very generously. We wanna tell you who they are. Our Red Salmon sponsors at $500 or more, our Covenant Trust Company, Nancy Field, State Farm and Soldatna, and Pip Printing. Our silver sponsors, $2,500 and more, are Dara Security, Bristol Bay Native Corporation. And finally, our King Salmon sponsors are 5K and above. We wanna give big thanks to Alaska Sausage and Seafood, Marsh and McLennan, and Alaska National Insurance. Again, thank you very much. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen next in our program, Royale. We are so excited to share with you all the updates, so let's take a tour. Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to Alaska Christian College. What began just five days after 9-11 has become an amazing ministry here on the Kenai Peninsula. Since our inception, we've had over 850 young people walk through our doors, about 90% of those Alaska indigenous young people. Our campus started with just one building on 10 acres, and today, we celebrate 27 different building projects on an entire 30 acre campus. And here's the best news of all, we're debt free. ACC offers four different degree programs. Our first degree is in paraprofessional education. The second, behavioral health. The third, of course, Christian ministry. And our final degree is in general education. About half of our students participate in the general education degree. It is a two-year educational opportunity for our students when they come to us from rural Alaska to either go back to their homes and villages or to continue on to a four-year education. 
The buildings that we have built on campus have mainly been built by volunteers over the years, many of them from the lower 48 and from Alaska. Most summers about 300 people come to our campus. We're grateful for each one. And if you do come up, I promise you, you only have to work during daylight hours. The biggest project on our campus has been this amazing athletic center that's been taking years to build. But soon day, we'll have students coming from all over Alaska to join us to play basketball and, and enjoy our workout center as well. This is an amazing project that we pray that God will use for his glory. And we're very excited about a new chapel to be built on the campus of Alaska Christian College. It's called the Gloria Chapel. And many people have given through their wills and trusts to make sure that there's a dedicated worship space for our campus students. New Hope Counseling Center is a ministry also of Alaska Christian College that has been with us since 2003. And we celebrate that at 24 hours a day, our students have access to the mental health needs that they might have, but also about 75% of the people that come are a part of the Kenai Peninsula community. But you know, it's really about students. We talk a lot about our buildings and what God has done in the miracles over the years, but it's about lives being changed. All these students that have come to us from rural Alaska and other parts of the state and the lower 48 have experienced the amazing new life that's found in Jesus Christ. Thank you for your support and for giving to life-changing education. Kuyana Teku. Hello everybody, my name is Dan Franklin. I'm the facility manager here at Alaska Christian College and welcome to the gymnasium project. It's about 35 degrees in here, 30 degrees in here. It's a little chilly this morning, but we have an active construction site going here. We have lights being installed, heating, plumbing going on, uh, sprinkler systems being installed. There's just people crawling all over the place right now. Uh, we have a 17,000 gallon water tank here that'll feed the sprinkler system for emergency fire suppression. And uh, it was quite a process to get this big, huge tank inside this building. This is, in the future, this is going to be a utility room where we, a storage room, if you will. In the temporary, it's going to be a workout room. So all our elliptical machines and treadmills and weightlifting and stuff will be in this room until the new fitness center, the health center, on the other side of this wall. So gymnasium here, off here another building, and this is our bathroom. And so come in this temporary entrance here real quick. Off to my right is the entrance into the public restroom. And then down the corridor will lead to the gymnasium, the locker rooms and showers and all that kind of stuff. So I want to try and give you guys a visual of the future here. When I walk out here and I stand in this area, this would be the new foyer. This would be the main entrance eventually into the gymnasium, the locker rooms and things like that. And off to my north here in this big flat area is going to be the Gloria Chapel. All these projects are going. You know, we built this gymnasium, the locker rooms, <clears throat> none of this could have been done without the volunteers and donors. But <clears throat> why are we doing this? We're doing this for the students. They come here and one of the things that just makes them feel at home in a good place is a gymnasium. A place they can play basketball, work out, have fun, compete, and a safe place. And that's why we're doing all this. It's a huge amount of work. Um, you know, behind us we got septic systems going in and sprinkler systems and well pumps to facilitate all this. And it's all for the students. We hope this contributes to a life-changing education. A big part of that is New Hope Counseling Center. And so uh, you're going to hear next from Debbie Hamilton, the director of New Hope Counseling. Thank you for joining us. Um, well, hello, I'm Debbie Hamilton and I'm the executive director of New Hope Counseling Center. And um, as you see behind us, and we started back in 2003 with just a really generous grant. We know that many of our students are coming um, from family life stories that have been really, really challenging. And as they are growing in their faith and taking classes over at Alaska Christian College, then we um, are walking alongside them in their stories and helping them um, potentially heal from, from past wounds and trauma. 
So the building behind us was built in 2009 and it currently has four offices, but as we have grown, we are needing to expand again. So we are in the process of finishing up four new additional offices that will allow us to add to our counseling staff. And so currently we have six counselors, um, four of them are licensed and two are awaiting their license. And it has just been um, an incredible opportunity to diversify our areas of passion and skill set and training. And so one of the things that we're super excited about is this new intervention called neurofeedback. And it is a form of biofeedback, which just means that the brain um, is getting information about itself. It's amazing how God's created the brain to be resilient and to be bent towards optimal functioning. And we are just seeing really phenomenal um, results with this added intervention. This has been a unique fall um, in that I've had an opportunity to be back on campus teaching a couple courses. I personally teach the developmental psychology class as well as our critical incidents and trauma course. One of our other counselors is teaching um, a course in substance abuse awareness and recovery. And it's just been really um, wonderful for us to have an opportunity to be in the class getting to know students. And then um, as ACC has grown, they've um, been able to develop more courses and more degrees and one of them is behavioral health and so one of the classes is the critical incidents in trauma and um, it has just been um, really exciting to get to know these students that are moving forward in their degree programs and um, they're all about equipping themselves to bring healing to their own story but also to take resources and skill sets and knowledge and training back into their communities. Well, I just personally wanted to say thank you for all of your uh, many years of support um, for Alaska Christian College and inadvertently New Hope Counseling Center as well. As uh, many of you know, Keith and I are married and we were invited to come up and start this beautiful venture with many people back in 2000. And um, it has been such a joy to partner together in a different ways that God has gifted Keith and myself. And um, we're grateful to be walking alongside these students and seeing what God's going to do in their lives. So thank you so much for your contributions, the time you're taking this evening to hear about the updates and God bless you. All right, thank you Debbie for the updates on the New Hope Counseling Center. Let's go to Adam and Shirlene, London, a couple alumni from Alaska Christian College out in Bethel, Alaska. I got to serve with them in 2021 as the summer intern and a ministry coordinator. So let's go take a look. Hi, my name is Shirlene and I was born in Anchorage. I moved to Atkasuk when I was 12 and that's where my grandma was from. And when I was 16, I left to go to boarding school at Mount Echka. And when I was there, I gave my life to Christ. And after my senior year, after my senior year, I went to Alaska Christian College. That's where I first read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, where I learned to study the Bible and saw one of the things that really impacted me was seeing Christian families serving together. I'm Adam London, and I am a pastor at Bethel Evangelical Covenant Church. I've been doing pastoral ministry as a youth pastor, associate pastor, and now as a senior pastor since 2004. And I went to Alaska Christian College 2001-2002. And so I actually grew up going to youth group with Keith Hamilton as my youth pastor. And I loved that the youth group had an emphasis on world mission and reaching the lost for Christ. And uh, so through a series of uh, events, God led me to go to Alaska Christian College, and it was an amazing experience for me. Uh, God totally changed my life by going to ACC. And while I knew Jesus as Savior and as Lord, I also uh, had never read through the whole Bible until ACC. And uh, God's Word just came to life for me, and I loved all of the classes. I took every elective that I could, uh, especially the Bible classes, and I still, to this day, even though I went to school in 2001, 2002 at ACC, I use what I learned there all the time. I use my biblical interpretive methods. Uh, I look back at the Old and New Testament classes that I took. Uh, the youth ministry classes, the children's ministry classes, and I use those all the time. And I, in fact, I think I use 
Alaska Christian College classes, what I learned from them more than I use my seminary training. And so it's really shaped who I am as a pastor and also as a husband and as a father. And so, uh, but one of the things that really changed my life at Alaska Christian College was the counseling that I received. And I had a very difficult childhood, very broken home. And uh, my biological father was uh, very abusive. And so uh, when I went to Alaska Christian College through counseling, uh, I came to realize that God wanted me to forgive my father. And that's uh, something that I hadn't really thought of, even though I knew who Jesus was and that he forgave me, I didn't really think about how I needed to forgive my father. And so uh, the, the counselors there helped me walk through that process. And, uh, and because of that, um, I, can, I can say that uh, I, have, uh, I have had the chance to forgive my father in a way that really doesn't make sense according to the world. It really only makes sense according to what Jesus has done in my life. And ACC was a big part of that. It was also where I really felt my call to pastoral ministry in Western Alaska. And uh, without ACC, I'm not sure I'd be pastoring out here in Bethel. And so I'm thankful for what God has done. Hey, Eric here again. I just want to introduce you to a number of our students. And uh, with me is... Kaylee Williams from Kotzebue. My name is Veda George. I'm from Utah, but I moved into Bethel in 2017. My name is John Henry. I am from the St. Carl's Apache Reservation in St. Carl's, Arizona, and I am enrolled in the White Mountain Apache Tribe. I am Anna Lynn Paniak. I am from Chivac. This is where Chivac is. This is Alaska <laughs> on a hand. Many people do that. <laughs> My name is Mita Williams. I'm from Quinnahawk and I'm from like the Kuskokoma area right there. Hey Veda, how did you hear about ACC? I was walking through my college fair in Bethel. The summer of 2018, I came here with Alaska XL for a firefighting training. The reason why I heard about ACC is because I was traveling from Arizona to Illinois for a conference called uh, WLS, uh, Warrior Leadership Summit, and I met Chrissy Ann there. Your name and where you're from? Hello, my name is Michael Etuk Melora, and I am from a small little village on the Ushins called Pilo Point. My name is Katrina Makasid, and I am from Chugiak, Alaska, just north of Anchorage. I'm Melina Kogana from Scammon Bay, Alaska. That's like around here. Well, um, I am Braden Kidd, and um, where I'm from, a lot of the students do like this weird Alaska hand thing, but I grew up in California, so I'm like way down there, so I can't really do the hand thing. What do you hope to do after your time at ACC? After my time at ACC, uh, I hope to go on to get my um, bachelor's in teaching, maybe in some form of environmental science, because that's more of where my passion lies, to be an outdoor educator. After my time here at ACC, I plan to go get my CNA done and then become a registered nurse and continue to serve the people. Uh, after my time at ACC, I hope to return to my reservation and help my people by working at the hospital for mental health. Um, after I'm done here at ACC, I do want to go on to get my bachelor's in youth ministry, whether that's at Grand Canyon or another Christian college. But my goal is to get my bachelor's in youth ministry and become a youth pastor.
My hopes in the future, I want to become a minister and also a teacher so I can travel all throughout Alaska, especially my home region where there's not a lot of churches to church out, church out there and also teach out there. So what kind of things have made an impact on your life during your time at ACC? All the people I've met and the teachers I've had. Hang out with the awesome staff members and professors and got close with them. I think the people made an impact on me, especially the ambassador's job. There has been a lot of connections here at ACC with the professors and the tutors and most of the staff. Uh, one of the things that really made an impact on me was the community because I grew up um, most of my childhood homeless and I didn't have a family there for most of my life and so having people be here to talk to and to have help me with the uh, majority of the stuff I struggle with is really helpful. People who help encourage me to like become closer to God and the experiences with the staff and the students. My name is Sandra King. I'm from Nunavak Island, Macquarie, Alaska. Um, I'm a retired teacher, and um, the thing I like about being at ACC is um, I can relate to our students uh, from rural Alaska, um, whether they're from um, north, west, south, or east. I'm, I'm familiar with um, the challenges that they face and I also am able to, I'm passionate about sharing with um, the ACC faculty and staff about the little bit that I know about uh, how we can effectively reach our students here at ACC. I'm Jacob Hookstra, I'm the Director of Student Life at Alaska Christian College. So thankful for the opportunity we have to be part of the fellowship and community here and it's just amazing to see um, God work uh, in and through through the community at ACC and in students' lives. Um, and we're so blessed and have learned so much um, from, from the friendships that we've developed with students over the years as well. My name is Kristen Hickey and I'm the director here at the Student Engagement Center at Alaska Christian College. And this is an opportunity that I feel God opened the door for me. Here in the SEC, we tutor, but we also get the chance to build relationships. And in the midst of tutoring, we have opportunities for discipleship. And most of these students, in the way that they have become so dear to my heart, are people that I would just like to adopt and bring home. But isn't that what it's about? The family of God. Hi, my name is Amy Lynn Burdett. My passion in working with these students is being present the way Jesus was present, is present with us, and leading by example, and encouragement and edifying, and to be able to sit with the, the, my, the students and share my experience, strength, and hope. It gives them courage, and then we learn together, and it's just been a joyful experience. So my sweatshirt, encourage one another and build one another up. And that's why I love my job.